welcome to basics on biology. In this video, we will discuss about the endocrine system, what it is and how it functions. The endocrine system is a network of glands and organs located throughout the body. It is similar to the nervous system in that it plays a vital role in controlling and regulating many of the body's function. However, while the nervous system uses the nerve impulses and neurotransmitters for communication, the endocrine system uses chemical messengers called hormones. Now, what is the function of endocrine system? The endocrine system is responsible for regulating a range of bodily functions through the release of hormones. Hormones are secreted by the glands of the endocrine system, traveling through the bloodstream to various organs and tissues in the body. The hormones then tell these organs and tissues what to do or how to function. Some examples of bodily functions that are controlled by the endocrine system include metabolism, growth and development, sexual function and reproduction, heart rate, blood pressure, appetite, sleeping and waking cycles, body temperature. Sometimes glands produce too much or not enough of a hormone. This imbalance can cause health problems such as weight gain, high blood pressure and changes in sleep, mood and behavior. Many things can affect how your body creates and releases hormones like illness, stress and certain medications can cause a hormone imbalance. Now, what are the parts of the endocrine system? The endocrine system is made up of organs called glands. Glands produce and release different hormones that target specific things in your body. You have glands all over your body including in your neck, brain and reproductive organs. Some glands are tiny about the size of a grain of a rice or a pea. The largest gland is the pancreas which is about six inches long the main glands that produce hormones include hypothalamus this gland is located in your brain and controls your endocrine system it uses information uh, from your nervous system to determine when to tell other glands including the pituitary gland to produce hormones the hypothalamus controls many processes in your body including your mood, hunger and thirst, sleep patterns and sexual functions. Second is pituitary gland. This little gland is only about the size of a pea but it has a big job. It makes hormones that control several other glands such as the thyroid gland, adrenal gland, ovaries and testicles. The pituitary gland is in charge of many different functions including how your body grows it is located at the base of your brain the third is penile gland this gland manages your sleep cycles by releasing melatonin a hormone that causes you to feel sleepy the fourth is thyroid gland your thyroid is a butterfly shaped gland in the front of your neck. It's responsible for your metabolism, that is, how your body uses energy. The fifth is parathyroid gland. It's also located in the front of your neck. The parathyroid gland is important for maintaining control of calcium levels in your bones and blood. The next is thymus. It is located in the upper torso the thymus is active until puberty and produces hormones important for the development of a type of white blood cells called T cells. The seventh is adrenal gland. One adrenal gland can be found on top of each kidney. These glands produce hormones important for regulating functions such as blood pressure, heart rate and stress response. The eighth is pancreas. The pancreas is located in your abdomen behind your stomach. Its endocrine function involves controlling blood sugar levels. Some endocrine glands also have non-endocrine functions for example the ovaries and testes. 
produces hormones but they also have the non-endocrine function for producing eggs and sperms respectively. In women, the ovaries release sex hormones called estrogen, progesterone and testosterone. Women have two ovaries in their lower abdomen, one on either side. In men, the testes make sperms and release the hormone testosterone. This hormone affects sperm production, muscle strength and sex drive. This was all about the endocrine system. Thank you for watching this video.